Welcome to week number two, my labor management relations students. I uh, hope everyone's having a good time. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Of course, we're coming back from the Memorial Day weekend. Uh, to all my students who have served or have family that have served, I want to thank you uh, for your sacrifice and all that you've done for us uh, to have this wonderful life in our country. Um, uh, that being said, I hope that everyone's been staying safe out there. Uh, hopefully we can keep on pushing through and getting through this pandemic and, and back to some type of normality or some type of new normal, whatever that may be. Um, I don't have any updated news for you in regards to, uh, the process, but I know that GNTC is slowly now returning back to the office i will continue to stay home for the time being but i will keep uh connected with you as much as possible um i wanted to also give you a sort of brief up view uh, update on what's going on with our class so we finished chapter uh one and two we are now working on chapters three and four Plus, our discussion this week takes a turn into unionizing Volkswagen. So several years ago, Volkswagen obviously came to our kind of neck of the woods, and they are obviously a international company. And in a lot of their other plants, they're union, they're unionized. And here they attempted to do that. They tried to unionize, but it just didn't work out. Uh, and I think part of that might have to do with some cultural resistance. Uh, in the north uh, part of our country, it's very popular to have unions. It's very common to have unions. So, uh, you know, here in the south, in the area we're at, in the Georgia, North Georgia area, that's not as common. So a lot of people, when they hear unions, they think of a bad word. But there's a lot of good things that unions have done for us. So what I, you know, want you to do is explore the idea of do you agree or believe that Volkswagen should or should not be unionized and why? Uh, more importantly than telling me no and there are terrible people, the unions are horrible. I want you to explore the idea of what would it do to the community? What would it do for the workers? What would it do for um, uh, just uh, in general business around them? Uh, you know, how many people would want to go work for them because they have a more stable um, compensation packages uh, they are taking care of well. So uh, please make sure that you are putting some thought into your discussions. As I mentioned before, this is how I sort of evaluate, you know, what information you're picking up on. Uh, and then, of course, reply to this video. The reply could be whatever you want. Just hi, how's it going, Mr. Argetta, to uh, more elaborate. Uh, but the post is what I'm mainly looking for, your original post. So, uh, guys, um, as for me this week, no major plans. Uh, you know, it's kind of it's been rainy, kind of gloomy. Uh, not a big fan of that weather because, uh, you know, we can't really do much there. Um, that's about it. I mean, I've been just kind of, uh, you know, visiting with family this couple of days, uh, just kind of relaxing, uh, didn't do much the last few days, just kind of laid back and, and take it easy. We're all healthy and that's what's important. We're trying to stay safe and limit our exposure to people, uh, until this starts getting a little better. But other than that, uh, I saw the video. If you haven't gone to Facebook or YouTube, they, we put together a video as a school to congratulate all of those people who have graduated. Uh, so I'll make sure you take a look at that and uh, if you're on Facebook, uh, you know, definitely uh, you should be able to find it at GNTC's uh, Facebook page. Guys, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. Let me know if I can help you. Uh, other than that, uh, you know how to get a hold of me. Take care, guys.